In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Genesis template. So the very first thing you need to do is to, of course, download it. Now, once you've downloaded it, it comes in as a zipped file. So you need to unzip the file, and then I'm gonna show you now how to install it. So over here on my computer, the very first thing you need to do is to come over here to Divi. Click on Theme Builder. Now, once you click on Theme Builder, over here on the top right, we have these two arrows, one pointing up, one pointing down. So you wanna click on here and then click on the Import tab. Now here on the Import tab, you need to click here where it says No File Selected. So once you click on that, it's gonna take you to your computer and this is where we have the zipped folder. So what you wanna do is, if you install this, as it is, as a zipped folder, this won't work. So you want to first unzip it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that by coming over here to my folder, and then I'm just gonna double click it. And now we have the file there. So the next stage now is to come over here, and then you want to click here on this .json file. So this one here is the one that we just unzipped. Click open, and then import. So now we are importing all the files that we have in this template. So once all this is done, our website now is going to have a header and a footer ready for you to use. Okay, so we're almost done now. It looks like everything went okay. So over here, you wanna click on save. And then now let's take a look at our website. So I'm just gonna go and just visit our site here. And now you can see that we have a header here we have our logo, and if I scroll all the way down here, now we have our footer. Now, here's the thing. So you may be thinking, okay, so how do I edit this template to match your colors for your branding? Well, that is very easy. Let me show you how to do that. So if you wanna edit all this, I mean your header and your footer and your 404 page, you wanna make sure you're back over here on Divi Theme Builder. So to make changes, you wanna click here on this little pencil icon, and then this takes you now into the builder. But remember, this is our template builder. So in here, you can now go in, go to background, for example, and we can change the colors. So let's say you wanna make this color really dark, just like what I've just done there. If you click on save, this change will be applied across your whole website. Again, if you wanna adjust the size of your logo here, you can go in and adjust the size of your logo. Now, I can't really, access that, so I'm gonna click on these three little dots here, and then I'm gonna go into this mode, wireframe mode, click here on the image, and then I'm gonna switch back over here so I can see what I'm doing. So now if I go to sizing, I'm able now to just increase the size a little bit to about, let's say 58%, save that, and then pretty much all my changes are done. So it's a very easy to customize template. You can do the same with the header, the 404 page, and also the search results page. So all you have to do is to make sure you come to the DB theme builder, and that is where you do all your updates. All right, guys, if you still have any more questions or you're still confused about something, just let me know, and I'll do my best to record more videos or even show you how to actually do this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.